Hey guys, did you miss me? It's been a while. You're probably wondering where I've been for the past three weeks and why I haven't uploaded any new videos. Well, it's because I had the coronavirus or COVID-19 and I had to be in quarantine for about two weeks. And well, after quarantine, I had to go right back to work. That's kind of why I haven't made any videos or uploaded any videos. I just didn't have any time. And you're probably wondering how I got the coronavirus. Well, one of my coworkers got it and he tested positive. And my manager sent me a text saying everyone's got to get tested to see if they're positive or not. And well, my test results came back positive and I had to miss work for a total of two weeks. So as you can see in the picture, my test result came back positive and I was very shocked when I saw that. I knew when I saw that, my standard routine was going to get all screwed up because of this. When I got tested a second time, my test results came back positive again and well, I was very shocked and I still was not happy at all. The third testing came back negative and I felt very relieved when I saw that. Even when I was no longer positive and was negative, just to be safe, I still had to stay in quarantine for a few more days just so I couldn't spread it to anyone. You never know, I could have still had it or not. These test results aren't 100% accurate. They're, I believe, about 90-95% to 95 accurate. So even though I was negative uh, towards the end, I still had to be uh, quarantined. And right after my quarantine ended, I had to go right back to work, right back to the place where I first initially got the virus to begin with. I wasn't too happy about that because I was kind of hoping I could have a few more extra days to myself to maybe work on videos or something because I haven't uploaded or made anything in such a long time. So to have extra time would have been good, but nope, right back to work after work. And realistically, it isn't very easy for me to make a lot of videos. Especially the fact that I work full-time in a factory, and I also do part-time sales on eBay. Uh, if you want to also check out my eBay store, you can check it out, buy something from eBay, and also support me. That's my second job that I also do, so working one full-time job and one part-time job is very, uh, it takes a lot out of me, and making videos on top of that can be difficult. But, you know me, I always push forward no matter how much work I gotta get done, but because of the virus, it did in fact slow me down. It put everything on hold, and... It's going to delay all my work. All my work got pushed back and now it's going to take a while for me to move forward. So just understand that it's going to be a while for me to keep up and make more videos. And you're probably wondering how I felt when I had the virus. I felt mostly fine. Not 100% fine. Maybe 85, 90% fine. I was coughing a little and I did have a minor headache and I did feel a little sleepy but... I was mostly fine, and I know the virus affects everyone a little bit differently. I know there's some people that get the virus and they get hit really, really hard. Uh, some people don't recover. Some people do recover, but not 100%. But in my case, I would 100%. I, I would 80%, 85%, 90% fine when I had it. And then once I was better, I would right back on my feet. And I thought about doing an opinion video on the COVID-19 or coronavirus and just share what are my overall thoughts and everything. But I knew a lot of you guys were waiting very patiently for me to make a weapon video. So I decided to just do a weapon video. Well, not right away. I want to do this video first, explaining everything. Then after that, get back to my normal schedule. But I would love to do an opinion video on the coronavirus because, well, keep in mind, there's more to me than just making weapons homemade weapons, building weapons, knife reviews, weapon reviews, there's more to it than that to me and this channel and I would like to explore more of that. I really do like to explore into new territories such as ideas, politics, history, science. As you can see, these are some just some of the channels that I like to watch in my spare time. A lot of history, a lot of science, a lot of politics and I would like to explore more into that into my YouTube channel. But, like I said, you guys have been waiting long enough, so I'm just going to go right into weapon making. Or, technically, my next video after this one will be the homemade weapon contest. And then once I'm done with the homemade weapon contest, because I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for that, then I'm going to go back to making normal weapon build videos and a few knife review videos that I also want to get done. So, I want to say thank you for watching this video. Well, if you made it this far, and I hope this video gives you a good understanding on where I was for the past three weeks and why I didn't make any videos or upload any videos and to also let you know it's gonna take a while for me to catch up because like I said everything had been put on hold and got delayed and with work and my two jobs so it's just gonna take a while for me to I guess catch up so I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you